welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review by Magma. This is set 7153, uh, Django Fett Slave 1, ages 8 to 12. Set issued from the 2002 series. And I will be reviewing only the ship because I do not have the box, instructions, nor minifigures. I will be using a uh, this similar minifigure for the video to explain how it works. If we can get this to work. This is the Boba Fett minifigure which appeared in almost all of the series I think. So I'm gonna have a look around the ship. We're gonna start with um, both these cannons. They are almost 360. They have quite an angle. And there's two of them. Um, the default is that when you have them in a certain angle, you cannot open the containers behind which are used to store Django Fett's guns. There is a container on both sides of the ship. Here's a, a door, an opening door where we find two small missiles. They're not flick fire, you can just take them out for playing. Really simple. Really, really simple. On this side, we have the hyperdrive or engine, however you want to call it. Really, just a detail, nothing more than a simple brick, blue brick, transparent as well. Some details. At last, here we come and we can find the cockpit. You just take the wind, windshield, windscreen off and you have a detailed cockpit. The cockpit goes like this when the ship comes up. The cockpit works with gravity so there isn't any mechanical work that you have to do. Boba Fett and Django Fett both fit in. I'm going to put this Boba Fett that's going to replace our Django Fett. There we go. Close this. And notice as I'm going to carry it up, it's automatically going to go up like this, like in the movie. So uh, it works with gravity like this. Um, the ship has details of different pieces. It's mainly blue because it's Django Fett's one. It's quite unique compared to the other ones but has similar features. One of the features here is that you can close this up like this. Not sure why it's there but it's there if you need it. Wow, I probably broke something there. Here, as we open this, we have the guns that are actually used in the movie to fire at Obi-Wan. They break quite easily. There we go. You can just put them there. They're on both sides. On this side, the same. The same. This is probably... Well, there is no flick fire missiles in this set as well because they're quite old. But these are probably some really cool stuff when you can have imagination or 
stop motions or all of that kind of stuff. It's getting old and the pieces are falling. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. I did not make it. Yeah, I kind of broke it there in the back, so I fixed a bit the ship because it's getting old and the pieces do fall. The last feature is when it's you have to put it behind like this to show you, but here we've got the whole back of the ship. It's um, the last feature is this container that has a magnet here and it's a simple container where you can put fit probably one minifigure, maybe two if you fit them in there. The container is attached to another magnet down there. Like this. It's probably to it's probably like to curve to carry some stuff or maybe just pretend it's the bombs that happen in the movie or I'm not sure but yeah this was the Django Fett Slave 1 set 7153 ages 8 to 12 magma out